Whoa, that was a close call. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. As promised, today my son Kaya and I will be reviewing two very similar helicopters. Kaya's uh, helicopter that we reviewed before is Ishin E129. And the helicopter that I reviewed on the last video is XK K127 Eagle. And they look very similar, side by side, very minor differences. And let's see if they fly differently. So what we are going to do next is we are going to take off, fly together, try to stay in formation. I don't know how good it's going to be. And then land and then swap the controllers and fly each other's helicopter. And at the end we are going to come back and give you a detailed overview of what we felt. Are they the same, similar? What are the differences? What we like for of each? What we don't like? Those kind of things. Uh, so, one other thing that I would like to mention about the XK K127 there is a gyro calibration function that I did not see in the manual so to do that I'm, I'm going to try to record both the little light on the back as well as my controller so you pull both sticks down and to the left corner and I don't know if you are seeing it but the little light blinked quickly so this was the gyro calibration so every time you crash or land hard you should do this so that the gyro is fully calibrated all right kai are you ready mm -hmm. okay why don't you take off first using the you know one key takeoff or you can just pull these down and to the outside to start the rotors and then just give some altitude like this okay and then just move away from from us a little bit move away and then get a little higher it's my turn. So here we go. And I'm going to put it to high high speed mode because there's slight breeze. So I put mine on high speed. And I'm just going to go around. A little higher, Kaya. Don't get it too close to us, okay? Yeah, I don't, I think it might be like one or something. Whoa, that was a close call. <laughs> If it comes towards us and not above us, just keep us away from the helicopter or keep the helicopters away because the wind is kind of changed. I think it's blowing towards us, so. Yeah, so you have to make sure that you are keeping it upwind somewhere over that field over here, like where I am flying. Don't get it too close. And are you on the high rates? So try the... You forgot, huh? You haven't been flying it for a while. It should be the button on the left, upper left, left hand corner. Did it... Oh, it, it was the land button for you? Yeah, that was the land button. Yeah, press it again, it will take off probably. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, so you have to be ready when that happens. You know, you almost hit me, and I'm I'm losing my my helicopter over there because it flew out. So that's the reason. You know, you take off and then you move away, and try the right hand button now. No, it it has to beep twice. Or, or maybe your yours doesn't. Okay, but don't don't keep it in front of us. Don't don't get it behind us. Okay, just keep keep it in front of us. All right, folks. <laughs> it started uh, in an exciting manner. You haven't done uh, flying together for a while now. The last time was I think. Kaya was flying this helicopter and I was flying the bigger sibling, older sibling, whatever you want to call it, E-130.
Okay, so I'm going to land and then what we'll do is we will we will uh, swap them, okay? Are you coming? Okay, I'm going to move mine so you can land now. Good job, okay. Both are landed. Now we are going to swap. Right? Yeah. So this one take off and land is on the right hand side and th this is the speed but I always set it to high speed so it should be on high speed. Is yours on the high speed? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let me take off first. And Oh, yours, yours is getting affected a little more, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. This one feels a bit easier. So you like mine a little better? Do you think it's a little easier to fly? Yeah, it's a bit easier to fly. I'm not very used to the controls right now. They feel weird. I think the Ishin is uh, struggling a little more in the wind not as uh, stable like I, I let go of the stick and then it did this uh, strange uh, wobbly movement and I'm uh, full forward and it's still coming back I don't know what's going on I don't think it has the same authority I'm not sure Kaya if you had this uh, on the high speed mode though yeah. okay I'm going to, is the right right button the high speed mode Yeah, it's not making any difference. I, I tried. I thought I thought yours had a high speed mode, but so so I'm just going to press again while it's flying close by, and it's not making anything. And I think the left button is the land button, right, Kaya? Yeah, the left button. All right. I thought the right button was... Okay, let me do a pirouette and then see if it changes the, at least the pre pirouette speed. No, it's doing nothing. Like, let's do... Yeah, it is doing nothing. I thought the Ishin had a speed. Interesting. How do you like the the XK mine? Well, it seems pretty good. I like it. I mean, yeah, like this is full. Yeah, like mine is like full forward. I know now. I know why you have been getting close to us. And then the wind has uh, picked up a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm I think I'm going to land and then maybe we can give a quick update what we think. Let me land first though. Oh. Okay. Uh, your turn, Kaya. I couldn't land it on the helipad. I mean, I landed and it slid off. Okay. <laughs> we, we both didn't do it well, huh? This time. Well, it's windy. For what it's worth, it's windy. Okay, so let's uh, give an update or what we think, our feedback. What we think about these two. So let's put the controllers on the ground you can put it there I mean they look very similar uh, one thing that I re realized while I was looking indoors is the angle of the rotor blades so if I put them side by side look at the angle of this one these two like one is up one is down and then you rotate it the other way and then the upper one goes to the bottom so it has a quite a bit of angle a pitch angle 
And this, this on the other hand, if you set them side by side like this, they're flat. I mean, the pitch comes from its, its shape. This has also been installed uh, a little at an angle at the center. So this is not at the same angle as this one. This arm is different than this arm. So maybe that's contributing to, to the flight characteristics, difference in flight characteristics, I'm not sure. But I couldn't figure out if this had a high speed mode. I just wanted to do a final indoor recap because I realized afterwards that this definitely has a high low rate or speed button, which is this trim button for the left stick up and down. So, you know, you push it up, it goes to high speed, you pull it down, it goes to low speed. So we were being unfair to E129. Probably it flies as well as the XK127 at the high speed. And with that said, just to compare the boxes, the box of the E129 is slightly smaller than the XK's box but it is better protected because this is a clamshell that you can remove the top transparent one uh, removes from the bottom white one so everything is kept inside nice and tight so you don't have to put any tape you don't have to put any zip ties or anything so everything is nicely held inside and also the e-sheen has the superior manual it's a, in color the english is perfect Everything is good and it comes with its own helipad. I forgot to mention that in the box. The only thing I don't like is this box doesn't have a carrying handle. So when you're carrying the XK's box is better because it has a carrying handle. It's a little easier to take everything out because it doesn't have the clamshell. And yeah, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the instruction manual is not good because it looks like it has been translated by Google Translate or another translation program. But other than that, when you put them side by side and compare everything, they are equally good. So if you are thinking about which one to buy, if it was up to me, I'll buy the one that I will find on sale or cheaper because they are both equally good, great uh, beginner level helicopters. I may tend to go to K127 because it has what I felt like a little more precise controls on the transmitter. So that would have been probably my only reason to go to this one. But as I said, if you like a color scheme of one, just get that one because they are equally good. So I give both of them 4.5 out of 5 props in our scale. Let's uh, tell our viewers what you think about these two. Um, I mean, they're both good, but I like this one more. It definitely had more resistance to the one, as you could see. And uh, it, you can change the speed. I don't know. I think you can change the speed. I guess it didn't work or something. I'm not I, sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to check on that as well because it didn't seem to do anything that button. That's supposed to be the speed button. Didn't so this used to be your favorite. Is this now your favorite? Yeah, I guess, but I'll still take the other one. It's still good and it's still easy to use. Yeah, this is definitely a winner, but this is, I think, a little, a little slightly easier to fly and especially in the wind outdoors it has a little more response i felt like it, it was responding a little quicker than this one this is a little slower to respond maybe because of this pitch angle of the rotor main rotor blades and other than that you know they are both great beginner level helicopters i wouldn't recommend them as the first ever helicopter if you haven't flown anything else like drones other you know smaller helicopters or airplanes because it's going to get confusing since these are you know, four channel and they can move pretty quickly. Especially indoors, you have to be careful not to hit furniture or other people. And the other thing, yeah, I, I think I will go with the XK as well, although they are very, very close. The determining factor for me is the response time as well as there is a slight difference in the feel of the joysticks. So the controller, so this is XK over here and this one is E-Sheen and the gimbals are much smoother on the XK and they're actually not, pla I mean there are like almost hobby grade ones, one moving inside the other, do you see this? Whereas this is just like a plastic piece with a hemispherical bottom that is just moving around and this doesn't even 
feel the center well like you are not sure where the center is there is some resistance at the center but not like this one this you know that you actually center the stick so this is definitely a better transmitter if you are planning to fly them using an open TX tra transmitter such as a jumper T light or radio master TX 16s you know bind and fly those probably the this is not going to be a determining factor but if you are planning to fly these with the original transmitters stock transmitters this is a better transmitter I mean it feels more precise although this is toy grade I maybe not toy grade I call these transition grade helicopters RC helicopters because they are not really toy grade toy grade helicopter you cannot really find any spare parts with these you can definitely buy spare parts although you may have to order them from China and you can the protocols exist on OpenTX you can fly these helicopters with hobby grade open TX transmitters and uh, with the toys you cannot do that however these are you know toy grade controllers and some components I target some components are hobby grade they are I call them transition grades perfect for transitioning into more expensive hobby grade helicopters anything you would like to add so you are keeping that one Yishin E129 but you are welcome to borrow this one anytime you want and in the future we'll do more videos as we buy more helicopters and fly and test them and give our honest opinions too we are not sponsored we are not monetizing our channel at least yet and we are not getting any free products from any companies these are all purchased with our hard-earned money so we can just give really honest opinions and reviews well thank you very much for watching and thank you kaya for helping with this review hope to see you on the next video take care bye bye